Hello Pisces, happy Christmas. This is your reading for the week of the 21st of December to the 27th of December. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Pisces to know, Pisces, to know about this week? Okay, six of swords. Three of cups. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Pisces to know about this week of the 21st of December? Pisces, please, Pisces. Angels, spirit guides, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces for this week, the 21st to the 27th of December. Pisces, angels, spirit guides for Pisces, please. What would you like Pisces to know? Okay, Pisces, right. I've got two of swords. There could be a stalemate. No one's talking to each other, an argument. Someone might apologise if you're lucky, but there's a decision to make this in this week. Um... We've got the Six of Swords. You're moving to a more peaceful time. You might have gut problems. Your gut might be telling you something about this Knight of Wands that keeps running in and having fun. And, you know, there could be some sort of um, a date. Art, he might rush into your life, passionate. He's got a vice, drink, drugs and rock and roll. It's Sagittarius energy. But um, he's rushing in. And this could be you going off to find peace because this person just runs in and out and does what they like uh, there's a three of cups here so you might be going on a date they might ask you on a date uh, but you might be waiting to get healthy and match fit this week this is your element for this knight of pentacles who's very slow in coming forward to offer you this new uprush of feeling this date this offer this uh, could be a home. Someone comes towards your home. There could be someone's planning something for you to offer you something, a gift of love. Um, you might be going away from someone that's been in and out of your life. They could have been married or that you could be getting ready to get married and this knight of pentacles is planning to come towards you to give you this offer but they're very very slow there's an emperor here it could be a father figure boss aries they they've got the eagle eye they're they're overseeing everything There could be some kind of loss of a, a breakup of a family, a loss of an uh, inheritance, a lack of stability offered. There's no stability with this person. You f you're going to feel stabbed in the back. People are gossiping about money, this lack of money. This could be a father figure that's just sort of broken the home and sort of has it just spent or gambled all the money or something like that. Someone might be feeling alone, very imprisoned. They're stuck indoors because people have been gossiping about them. This could be someone actually in prison. But for some reason, the Nine of Swords here is upside down. So I think that's you swerving the nightmare. It's like... Someone, because I've got the Four of Swords, here, someone could be like, it could be like, when this happens, it's quite nice because you wanted to be alone anyway. It's like you can isolate yourself. You don't have to talk to anybody. It's like you now I can get some sleep. It's almost like someone gets. To, it's like someone goes to jail. Um, I don't think it's literally they're going to jail, but it's like they go on their own and it's like they feel stabbed in the back and imprisoned and can't get out, or they can't. People have been talking about them because they have lack of stability or they're not offering or this money didn't come across or they, they, they got left out of an inheritance. 
and it's like you swerve, you, you can get some sleep now and start contemplating and recovering and meditating. Someone could get like, not feel very well and it's not as bad as you thought it was. They just need some convalescence. They just need to start, sit in for a couple of couple of days. But you're going to something peaceful because this Knight of Wands kept running in and out, or you're, and there's there's this sort of party, this celebration. But it's either you you go to this party, you go somewhere peaceful, ends up going to a party, or ends up you drinking, and you want to take two weeks off to just recover, um, so that you can plan something towards a new love and this empress here who's stable who's older who's wiser but doesn't want to offer stability because they're depressed or they feel that they've been talked about But that Nine of Swords is like going back to the Eight of Swords where you've just got out of a trap. It's like someone feels talked about and overwhelmed. It's like this self-sabotage. But it's like, I don't think it is self-sabotage. I think people have left you out and not offered you security. Um, I think that you are going to be wanting to go on your own and into this isolation and not talking to anyone because of this. Someone's spent all the money or someone's gambled it away. It could be they've offered this love. They've been really slow in coming forward. They've offered this love. This love is here. This, this, someone's in authority could say no. Or there could be a broken home and someone gets very down about it. But actually, they wanted to be alone anyway. And there was this decision on the bottom of the thing. And I'm looking at the Queen of Wands here. Someone's getting to the point where they're going to be making a decision because I don't think they're happy at home. And maybe someone drunk too much and now they're having to sort of be a bit careful where they spend the money. Be careful of spending this week. And... Um, This new offer of love is here. You're, you're drinking, getting healthy. After this celebration, you don't want this person running in and out all the time. You just want peace. And um, someone's leaving, someone's upturning at stability, upturning, and it's going to make someone feel very alone. But whilst you're feeling alone or this person's feeling alone, they're regretful, they don't know what to do. It's like they, they start contemplating then and start thinking, right, well, I've only I've got rid of most of those people. Actually, I've got rid of most of my worries now. I didn't have to go to Christmas Day. <laughs> Let's ask the romance angels. Angels, this is confusing for me as well. You're trying to move to more peaceful fashion, but someone sort of drags you out to a party, which you have to um, start healing yourself from you're offered some kind of a stable new beginning but there's also new love here passion <gasps> allow your heart and soul to sing with joy angel spirit guys pisces token of the fool <sighs> honeymoon Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime and worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Has someone gone away or you've separated from someone, they've gone back overseas or whatever, and they said just, I'll be, I'll be a little while. I do love you. This is a new love. Or you're talking online. And it upsets you because maybe you can't see them or some you didn't get the money you thought you'd get and then you find out that someone that maybe 
this Emperor's Aries has stabbed you in the back or stolen your money. But actually, by, it's almost like why this thing happening with you on your own or feeling out, left out or don't, don't have any money, it also gives you some rest. You need rest. And it's saying it's worth waiting for because this is true love. Don't be so, don't self-sabotage or overwhelm yourself. When you cut out all these people, justice is saying, no, leave this person alone. And you're able to swerve that nine of swords, go straight to the like the self-sabotage, go straight to the four of swords and say, right, I'm meditating. This is what this is going to be worth me waiting to heal myself. There's a healing going on. Someone might t back down then and apologize. I could be dealing with the, the Queen of Wands. It could be that someone can't get to you. There's they're, they're, um there's passion, there's honeymoon. Maybe you had a really nice time with this person. They came to see you, you had a celebration. And then they had to go again. Or you got sick or someone had to take two weeks off or something like that. It's like, oh no, or well, they lost some money. It says it's worth waiting for, it's true love. Angel, spirit guide. What would you like? This could be the twin flame, this emperor. What would you like Pisces to know about this week? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, we have yoga and meditation. Look, that's essential for you. This week. Yoga and meditation are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. Angels, spirit, guides, universe. What would you like Pisces to know? Pisces, 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 Pisces. You're gonna, you're gonna really enjoy this time alone. Release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, your arms and heart to our love and assistance. Let go and allow things to happen naturally. Angel, spirit guides, Pisces. I'm going to take those because too many. Give me one more for Pisces. Clear your space, get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you and use Feng Shui. Far right of the bedroom is a very important place to put red, pairs of things, fire, put two candles there. You don't have to light them, just put anything fiery in your love corner, which is the far, stand at the door, far right corner. What is in that corner? Some people, I ask them all the time, what's in that corner? And they'll say, oh, a wardrobe. And, I, and then people keep leaving me. And then they discover there's suitcases on the wardrobe. So they get people that travel in and out of their life that says, I love people that travel. So take any suitcases out, any shoes, any dirty washing, wash it all out, put some rose quartz there and or some sexy red underwear, something to bring the passion in. It's, it's You're given, being given time out to meditate, to clear your mind of this worry or these people, to get rid of these people and um, start working on your space around you and the people around you, the energy that you've got around you. It's worth waiting for angels, there's someone coming. One more for Pisces please, what would you like Pisces to know? I am helping you with physical challenges in yourself and others, you are a healer like me. Maybe someone's just not feeling very well or you're not feeling very well and this is what the weight is for. So you can heal, get ready for this person. It's getting ready, you're getting ready. Spiritually ready, um, physically ready, you're getting your home ready. There's someone coming in and they're offering you true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. You're getting match fit for this person. They're coming in. You might have had a brief encounter with this person and they have to go away again and you, you know, but, and there's might be a couple of choices. Maybe you're thinking, oh, there's no stability here. There's no money here. You know, I feel depressed. But actually this time has been given to you so that you can get ready for this honeymoon and this true love. Take care, Pisces. I will speak to you soon and, um, Stop cleaning up. There's people coming. Maybe for Christmas. <laughs> Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.